Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to talk about how to switch between different P2Y12 inhibitors. Switching between different P2Y12 inhibitors is very common. Uh, almost one in five ACS patients switch at some point during their hospitalization. And yet there's actually no robust clinical data for the best way to switch. Um, ACC recommendations are actually just based on an international expert consensus uh, that was published in a white paper uh, in 2017. At our hospital, the most common uh, initial P2Y12 inhibitor is a ticagrelor. Um, common reasons for switching away from ticagrelor include uh, patients uh, with the idiosyncratic shortness of breath sometimes associated with ticagrelor, uh, patients with atrial fibrillation requiring anticoagulation, or uh, patients with uh, increased uh, bleeding risk. As I said, um, there is no robust data for how to switch, um, but expert consensus is that 24 hours uh, is the sweet spot after the last dose of ticagrelor uh, before giving a um, loading dose of either a clopidogrel or a prazogrel. Uh, 24 hours is uh, longer than the half-life of ticagrelor, so the risk of a drug-drug interaction is lower. And at 24 hours, uh, platelet inhibition uh, from ticagrelor is actually similar uh, to the level of uh, platelet inhibition uh, that clopidogrel typically achieves. Um, so the risk of uh, stent thrombosis remains low. Um, for cangrelor, um, expert consensus is that it is actually safe to wait two to three days uh, after stopping ticagrelor uh, due to residual meaningful level of P2Y12 inhibition even at that point. Uh, waiting that long uh, minimizes costs and bleeding risk associated with cangrelor. However, frankly, our practice has been to start uh, cangrelor uh, within 24 hours of the last dose of ticagrelor as well. Okay, how about switching away from prazogrel? Uh, well, in the acute setting, uh, waiting 24 hours after the last dose of prazogrel also seems to be the sweet spot uh, before giving a loading dose of uh, either clopidogrel or ticagrelor. Uh, but if you're more than 30 days out uh, from the index event, uh, your platelets are likely to be less angry. Um, so before, uh, because uh, prazogrel's effect uh, lasts longer, uh, expert consensus is uh, to just switch to a maintenance dose of clopidogrel or ticagrelor rather than having to use a loading dose. Um, for cangrelor, again, because of prazogrel's more persistent uh, platelet inhibition, expert consensus uh, say that uh, it, it is uh, safe to wait uh, three to four days uh, before uh, starting cangrelor. Um, again, our practice has also been to start cangrelor within uh, 24 hours of the last dose of prazogrel. Okay, how about escalating therapy from clopidogrel? Well, uh, here uh, also uh, waiting 24 hours seems to be the sweet spot. In the acute setting with angry platelets, uh, remember to use a loading dose of either ticagrelor or prazogrel. Uh, if you're more than 30 days out, uh, expert consensus is that it is safe to just switch to a maintenance dose. Uh, for cangrelor, uh, expert consensus is that it is safe to wait for two to three days, but again, our practice has been uh, to start within 24 hours. All right, finally, what about uh, switching to an oral P2Y12 inhibitor from cangrelor? The thing to remember here is that to avoid a drug-drug interaction, uh, clopidogrel and prazogrel should not be started until after the cangrelor infusion has stopped. Um, for ticagrelor, it actually does not matter uh, whether it is loaded during or immediately after the cangrelor infusion. All right, so here is a nice figure uh, from the uh, 2017 paper summarizing the expert consensus uh, recommendations uh, for switching between oral uh, P2Y12 uh, inhibitors. Thank you for watching.